What's up everyone, it's your boy Shotgun Gabe. Here once again reminding you guys that if I can do it, you can do it. Today we're talking about OCGN. We got an earnings call coming up. They just made an announcement and a lot of people are saying this stock sucks. I heard that one person say that they're gonna cut their losses and move over to AMC and that's funny because I heard people saying that about AMC a while back and I ended up profiting off of it. So stay tuned, let's do an overview of OCGN. Let's get into it guys. Okay, so we're talking about OCGN and they have an earnings call tomorrow. They also made a big announcement that made me happy and I've been investing with these guys for a while and I'll sell, then I'll buy some more, then I'll sell. But I was going through the comment section today and um, somebody's like, I'm going to cut my losses and move over to AMC. And that's funny because that's what I heard people saying in AMC a while back and I'm like, buy your position lower, buy your position lower, buy your position lower. And OCGN actually dipped under nine today. And as soon as I seen it dip under nine, I was like, ooh, let me get some of these. And I put a limit order in and it didn't execute. So I have five shares right now and I'm a little disappointed in that. But if you got in under nine today, congratulations. The earning call, to be honest with you, I want them to have a bad earnings call and I'll tell you why. Let's get into the chart though. Okay, guys, so if we look at the daily chart, we can see that uh, this thing has been going down. And, man, this thing went all the way down past nine today. So if you picked up some shares right around here, congratulations. I believe when we were right around here, I put in a limit order at 8.99, and it didn't execute because it was already on the uptrend, and I was in some other stocks at the time. So I totally bonehead missed that. But um, I'm still under $9, as you can see. I only got five positions, though. And this thing's starting to go back up. Um, but my biggest thing is the comments, man, the comments. So um, people saying this stock sucks and they're going to get out of here. That's what people were saying in AMC. And it went back up and I made money off that. It hit 14 today and I sold. But, I mean, if you're saying this stock sucks, that's because... You bought around here and you're selling around here. I mean, come on, look at this thing, 28 cents. And, and look at where it shot up from. I think I got it at 60 cents a share when I first got in. Um, I, I mean, I mean, but look at this pop up and then another pop up. Like, come on, guys. And then um, we have earnings call, right? So let's talk about that. But if you guys look at the line, I mean, you guys should be buying right here. $8, right over $8. Look at that. A, 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 a. If it goes down to A, if it says A anything, I buy. Definitely. And as you guys can see, I totally missed that today. But we might have a chance tomorrow. So let's get into that. But you can see from the lines, you're going to be wanting to buy, buy right here. And you're going to want to sell right around here. Depending on where the trend's going. You know, the trend might start going up again. And let's talk about this. Okay, so first things first, if you're losing money, you're doing this wrong. Um, if you're just getting in, wait till it says around eight is my suggestion. That's what I'm doing though. Do your own research, take your, you know, do your own thing because I'm just a stra ra random stranger on the internet, of course. But you should be buying this around eight, eight something. You know, I'm trying to wait for it to dip below nine. I have a feeling this might happen tomorrow. So we have an earnings call tomorrow and what we're expecting is we're expecting a minus two cents a share. And... We know that most of the time with earnings coming up, something will run up to earnings and then you got sh people that are in it for the short term selling off really quick. Um, I'm expecting a dump tomorrow and if it dumps, then I'm going to have another chance to get in. And as soon as this thing gets under an eye, I'm going to watch the RSI and when it starts bottoming them out and it's around 20 or 30, if it goes that low, I'm going to start jumping in again and loading up and then writing this back up. And it might stay down for a couple of days and it might stay down even a, bit, a little bit longer, but it's always going to have, you're going to have short people selling off and then it'll go back up most likely, right? Um, they just announced that they are going to have, they're going to, they're going to be getting rid of a hundred million vaccines. And with Biden right now saying that he wants everybody that's, um, he wants everybody eligible for a vaccine. He wants these things pumped out like crazy. And he just made this big old speech on it. Uh, the government's going to be buying this. These things are going to be getting paid for. So 
that's good news for us, especially with these guys saying that, you know, yeah, these this company that we are partnering with wants to push out 100 million vaccines and we're going to get it done. That's great news for us. You know, that's great news for us because we can invest in them. We could have our money in OCGN and, and make some profits off this. We could also throw some money in Walmart. We could also put some money in Rite Aid. And every place you think that's going to be pumping out vaccines and having foot traffic that's going to be distributing vaccines, selling sodas, selling toilet paper, selling candy bars, selling snacks, uh, Honey, I got a headache. Give me some aspirin while you're at the pharmacy getting your vaccine. We could also dump money into these because these are going to see short-term gains from extra foot traffic, right? So this all plays out to the best for us. So as soon as that thing dips, I'm going to load up on stocks again. Um, I already told you their earnings are minus two cents a share. So take all this consideration. Take all this into consideration and do your due diligence and... I like OCGN. It's a good play. You know, this thing was under a dollar. I bought me a hundred shares a while back. This thing popped up. Now it's around eight, nine, ten dollars a share. And once these vaccines start getting rolled out, you can just <coughs> make who knows how much, you know. So let's see what next earnings call looks like. Not tomorrow, but the next ones after that. I have high hopes for that. Um, hope everyone has a good day. Remember to do your own due diligence and if you haven't watched my other videos go ahead and do so i talk really good strategies on an asxc video but they're good strategies you can use on any stock so if you haven't seen that go ahead and check that out here and i'll catch you guys on the next one thanks everyone for watching i really appreciate your time and remember this is your money so don't just lessen the random strangers like me on the internet do your due diligence think about what people are saying and see what works for you I hope everyone has a good one. See you guys next time.